So I found this demonstration of a real-time AI deep fake tool on social media. So let me play you the clip first, and then I'll go ahead and translate it and explain how it works and show you the tool or the options that you can use to achieve this effect. Let's jump right in. Uh, actually, some people say, 其实已经是很完善的，包括像这种捏脸什么的，它都是一个常规操作。这个东西是不会破相的，就是包括什么戴口罩啊，或者这个吃个饭什么的。就比如说这个吃个饭，等一下，我先把这个美颜关一下，不然的话等一下会影响。嗯，这个吃饭、喝水，然后什么摸脸，然后什么捏脸，这种都是不会影响到。嗯，这个换脸的，这个其实是一个换脸的基本操作。那么，什么是直播换脸？呃，那么什么是直播换脸最难的点呢？其实就是几个，一个是这个眼睛，就是你看这个眼睛的这种就是转动，然后闭眼，还有这个嘴巴，呃，说话的时候很多，呃。垃圾模型它是没有办法去闭眼，这个嘴巴的话，嘴型也是很有问题的，而且牙齿也不行，嗯，牙齿就是<咳>。那么，所以说，这个直播换脸真正的难点，其实还是这种什么皮肤细节啊这些。就我的模型就是，嗯，能够把模型做到真实吧。All right, so the first sentence here. 呃，其实有些人说，哎，这个，呃，直播换脸它的效果不是很好。我现在用的就是这个直播实时录像。那么直播的话，它这个。So he says that some people say real-time AI deepfake technology isn't really good, but that's not the case. So he is using a real-time AI face swap technology right now, and then. Here he's showing that even if you do things to the face, like pinch the face, you can see here he's pinching it with two hands. Now here he's eating food. You can see that there are no flaws with it. The face swap does not reveal his original face. You can touch the face, pinch his face, and this cute girl face still remains intact. Hello. Uh. 那么什么是直播换脸最难的点呢？其实。就是几个，一个是这个眼睛，就是你看这个眼睛的这种就是。And so there he's showing. Well, what are the challenges of these real-time deepfake tools? Well, one of them is tracking the eye movements, and there he just demonstrated that you know this tool is really good at tracking the eye movements. Now it's almost there's like minimum delay. 转动，然后闭眼。And here he's showing how if you close your eyes. The deepfake will also close her eyes, so almost flawless here. 还有这个嘴巴，呃，说话的时候很多，呃，垃圾模型它是没有办法去闭眼。这个嘴巴的话，嘴型也是很有问题的，而且牙齿也不行。嗯，牙齿。Wow, and here he's showing how the teeth are also perfect. Now, a few days ago, I showcased Microsoft's new face animator called Vasa One, and the teeth movements of their demo videos are pretty bad. You can see, for example, for this one, if you notice her teeth, they kind of morph in shape over time. The micellars, the milks, the cleansing balms, the oils—they are really great for a drier skin, a mature skin, that first step cleanse,、uh, that removing makeup. So for me, they kind of sit into that bracket. There's a few more examples here where you can clearly see, if you notice closely, that the teeth morph into different shapes. So that is a noticeable flaw about Microsoft's Vasa One. If you plan to go for a run and you don't have enough time to do a full run, do part of a run. If you plan to go to the gym today but you don't have the full hour that you normally work out, do some push-ups. Run up and down the stairs. Go out. These principles will not only make your users' journey more pleasant. They'll contribute to better business metrics as well. Users hate being interrupted, and they hate getting broken experiences. Keeping these principles in mind in your app design makes for a better user journey. And again, if you want a more comprehensive overview of that tool, check out this video. But back to this real-time deepfake tool, you can see that the teeth are very consistent, 
and pretty much flawless. I'll, I'll play this teeth clip for you again right now. That's it. Just, uh... <咳>那么，所以说，这个直播换脸真正的难点，其实还是这种什么皮肤细节啊，这些。就我的模型就是，嗯，能够把模型做到真实吧。So finally, he concludes with saying that the only real challenge of these real-time AI face swap tools right now is getting the skin quality to look good. But other than that, like tracking the eye movements, the mouth movements, pinching the face, it's all pretty much solved, as you can see with this video. The only flaw that I can really point out are these massive man hands. These do not look like feminine hands. But if you look at just the face, and I guess the ears are also too big for this cute little face. Other than that, I mean, the face, which is what this tool is for, right? It's a face swap. It's pretty much flawless, and it tracks his movements almost perfectly. All right. So some people online, some of the comments on social media say that, well, this is just a beauty filter. This is not AI. Well, first of all, beauty filters are AI, right? They use computer vision, face detection, facial feature detection. This all uses AI behind the scenes. So by saying this is just a beauty filter and not AI is incorrect because technically a beauty filter is an AI. All those Snapchat face filters that you use from like five years ago. Those were still using AI, but it's just not as good as, of a technology as it is right now. And now, beauty filters have been around for many years, and they're kind of notoriously used in Asian countries from these influencers who aren't really beautiful in real life. But after applying the, these beauty filters, you can see that they look a lot nicer. So they're kind of cheating the internet. Oh my gosh! This. <laughs> All right, this is even worse. So yeah, here's another example. Wait for it. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! Oh my God! Okay. All right. Final one. Let's see what this turns out to be. Jesus! Is that a man? Oh my goodness! So, anyways, these beauty filters are really overused and notorious in Asian countries. But I would say even in like Western countries, these are heavily used, but just not as notorious as what you see here. But anyways, these filters are just changing certain facial features of the individual into something else. So, for example, making her eyes bigger, making her skin smoother, making the facial structure a more ideal shape. However, it's not turning her entire face into someone else's face. Same with this one. It's just like making her eyes bigger, her skin smoother. So here's the before, here's the after. But you're not like swapping out her entire face with someone else. Where this tool differs is, you can see this dude is a man. He looks completely different from this new face. So it's a complete face swap in real time. Plus, it's very consistent. As you can see, he can pinch his face. He can eat lunch with it, and there are no flaws with it. Thanks to Cramify for sponsoring this video. Studying for final exams can be such a stressful time, but here's an awesome tool that can help you ace your exams. It's called Cramify. For me, studying for exams felt completely overwhelming. I would spend hours poring over dense course materials, trying to distill all the key concepts and practice problems. But here comes Cramify. It's a new AI study tool that makes preparing for exams so much more efficient and manageable. All you have to do is upload your class notes and materials, and Cramify automatically creates summarized review notes and practice questions with solutions to the specific course you're taking. The study summarizer feature is a game changer. It condensed all my notes into simple summaries, so I could quickly review all the important info. And the question solver feature lets me test myself with practice questions that were almost identical to what ended up on the actual exam. So instead of feeling stressed, Cramify gives you more confidence and control going into exams. If you're looking for a better way to study and boost your grades, I highly recommend giving Cramify a try. Go to the link in the description below to sign up and try it for free. So, anyways, in this video, he did not explicitly mention what tool he used for this effect, and I tried searching online, including on like Chinese forums, to try to find the original source of this. I could not find the source, nor could I verify what tool he used for this. But it's very likely to be one of these options that I'm going to show you today. 
So the first one is called Deep Face Live. This is a free open source tool which allows you to do face swap in real time. You can simply download this on your computer and run it locally. So here are a few examples. You can see this guy is face swapping into Keanu Reeves. Here's another one. You can see it's tracking his face, his eye movements, his mouth movements very nicely. And this is all in real time. Here's an example of turning into Emma Watson. Here's another example. So I wish they could, oh, there we go. She's talking now. I wish they could move their heads and talk more so we can see how consistent this filter is. Here is Tom Cruise. It's not bad. Here's another example of Tom Cruise, but right now the girl is turned into Tom Cruise. <laughs> but you can see like the way she moves her head, the way she talks, the face swap tracks it perfectly. Here is Taylor Swift. So yeah, you can see the face swap is very consistent, even though they talk, they eat, they touch their face, it still remains relatively flawless. So I believe this tool, Deep Face Live, is the most likely tool that this guy used to generate this. It's quite simple to download, all you need to do is follow these instructions, and it says here that any DirectX 12 compatible graphics card is fine. Now it is recommended that you have at least an RTX 2070 or above, or a Radeon RX 5700 XT or above. But honestly, the requirements aren't that high. If you do have lower end hardware, you can expect there to be a bit higher delay, but it's still gonna work. So you can just follow these setup instructions for Windows and Linux. And let me know if you actually want me to make a full tutorial on how to install and run this. If there's enough interest, I'll make a video on this. I also want to bring up another open source face swap tool for video, which is called Roop Unlocked, which is forked from the original Roop project, which is a face swap tool. Now, so for Roop Unlocked, again, you just input a video and it would convert that person's face into someone else's face. In this case, you can see she is turning into Scarlett Johansson. Here's another example where Superman is being turned into John Cena. Now keep in mind, this tool is not in real time. So you need to upload a video and then wait for it to process and then it would spit out this new video. And so again, this is on GitHub. I'll link to it in the description below. This is free and open source and you can download it and run it locally on your computer. In fact, way back in the days, I did a video where I turned myself into a hot AI girl using the same technology. So it was also using a Roop video face swapper tool. So here are the results from that. You can see it's pretty good and consistent. Finally, I also want to mention Face Fusion, which is another free software you can download. And here's the demonstration of the interface. So basically you just input a face you input a video and it would swap out that person's face for the face that you uploaded. So here's the output. They provide clear instructions for Linux, Mac, and Windows. So you just gotta follow these steps and download it locally on your computer. I'm mentioning all of these to show you that there are plenty of options that you can use to face swap videos. Some of them are not in real time, but they offer better quality if it is not in real time. So all in all, that sums up an explanation of this video and how this guy likely made this effect. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think catfishing has now evolved to a whole nother level? Can we trust cute girls online anymore? How will this change the world of like streaming and influencers and online dating? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.